In today's guitar lesson, I will show you how to play My Girl by The Temptations. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and on this channel we are all about bringing you guitar song lessons by request, getting you playing your favourite songs as close to the original version as quickly as possible with on-screen chord boxes, tab, rhythm slashes, the whole works. So if you are new here, please do subscribe! Click on that button now and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any new videos. Today's request comes courtesy of Nadine Johnson. Thank you, Nadine. It's a great tune. I'm really pleased to bring this to you today. So there's lots in this tune to get stuck into. We're gonna have a look at what's called a major pentatonic. That's how we play the intro part. We're gonna go through the chord progressions and the backbeat strumming pattern that I've got for you. We're also gonna see some variations to some common open chords. We're looking at some major seven grips and some minor seven grips that I hear in the tune. And the cherry on top, I'll show you how you can add some triad chord shapes, especially in the ending with the horn part. Sounds great on the guitar, so look out for that. So if we can get 500 likes, on this video, I will make a handout available on my website where you can get all the chords and the tabs for the intro part and all that good stuff. So 500 likes to unlock that, guys. You know what to do. All right, we'll get zoomed in on the neck and go through the tune. Zoom in. So after the bass does its thing, in five seconds, the guitar begins with the iconic intro riff going like this. Now this is what's called a major pentatonic scale. It is a C major pentatonic scale around this chord shape. And we start with finger number two on fret three of the A string. Then we have pinky finger on fret five of the A. Finger one, fret two of the D. Fret five of the D with a pinky. Fret two of the G with the index. And fret five of the G with the pinky again. Put those together. Now what's good about this shape is that it can be moved anywhere. Major pentatonic scales, okay. The rhythm, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it's one and three and four and one and three and four and. If you can't manage that, you could just be strumming on a C major chord. The verse at nine seconds, if you're playing your lead part, you do one measure of the C. And then we go to an F major pentatonic and that's coming off fret one on the E string. A little less demanding this because it incorporates open strings. So it's fret one on the E, fret three on the E. I use finger one and three. And then it's open A, fret three A, open D, fret three of the D. So it's one, three, open three, open three. In the same rhythm. So those two measures together are like this. Now I finish under finger three, that gives my finger two available to come back to the C note. Again, if that is a challenge for you when you're just getting started out, you could play this with open chords. And the chords that you have then are gonna be a measure of C to F. The F chord uh, if you are a beginner, you can use an F major 7 or 
an F major or a bar chord or a variation on a bar. Okay, it's basically one measure C, one measure F. And that's done four times. That's all underneath the lead part. At 28 seconds, we have what I'm terming the pre chorus, and we go C for two, D minor for two, F for two, G for two. I guess you say. Do that twice. What can make me feel this way? <coughs> Sorry about the singing. Chorus at 37 seconds. I'm gonna have what's called a C major seven. A secret without finger number one, a beautiful jazzy C major seven. You're gonna strum on that for the four, and another four. And then you're gonna to go to this. This is a D minor seven, a variation to a common open D minor chord. You get a bar finger on strings one and two. Kind of like a mini bar F, but with an open D string. Good practice for your D. Good practice for your mini bar F chord. Okay, if this, this is too much, you just do a D minor. And in the fourth measure, we do a, a quick stab on beat one of the D minor seven. Rest, rest, and then on beat three and four we have D minor, G. So it's one, two, three, and four, and. And you're back to the C in the verse at 46 seconds. Let's put that chorus all together. Like that. So verse two at 46 seconds, it's the same chords as before, done four times. But let's have a little think about the strumming pattern. In this style, this R&B style, we're looking at a backbeat strum. So that's accenting on what's called the off beats. And in this instance, that would be on beat two and four. If you listen to the song, you can kind of hear it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, there's this lead part doing some triads up on the top. But if we want to put that into our strum, what I like to do is kind of a, what I call a big small strum or a small big strum. So on beats one and three, I'm doing kind of little strummings on the bass notes. And then on beats two and four, I'm coming through the entire chord grips. It's one, two, three, four. Eighth notes, one and two and three and four and but it's one and two and three and four and. And do the same on the F chord. One and two and three and four and one and two. Like that. Pre-chorus two at 104, it's the same as it was before, but let's put that back beat onto it. Three, four. Chorus two at 113, let's take the strum down a little bit, go for some quarter notes. And again, we have that one, two, three, four. And then the break at 123, we have the bass doing its thing. Guitar riff at 127. 132, that carries on. C. F. 141. D minor 7 to G. E minor, here comes the chord change. Oh, 
beautiful little example of how you can modulate, we say, change the key. We were in C major, we're now going to D major. And that chord, that gateway chord is the A major. The hits just before verse three. So that sequence one more time was, this is from 141, was D minor seven to G, E minor, A major. That rhythm on that A measure, really want to get this in, is one and two, three and four and D. So the chord sequence in verse three at 150, we've gone up a whole step or a tone from C to D. So now the progression is D to G. But you still hear that pentatonic, so how do we play the pentatonic now in the key of D? Well, the shape I showed you moves perfectly just up two frets. So now we have a D major pentatonic, five, seven, four, seven, four, seven. That's on the D chord, and on the G, the beauty again of this shape is it can move onto string six, so you have the exact same box shape but coming off the sixth string at the third fret for a G major pentatonic. Exactly the same thing. So it's D, G, D, G. And the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus at 208, then the chords will be D, uh, E minor, G to A. D then E minor, G this way. And chorus three. Before we had a C major seven, now we're gonna have a D major seven. This is at two minutes eighteen. Oh my girl. A big bar across the top three strings and open D string. That's a D major seven. One, two, three. Then E minor. Do, 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 to A. This kind of repeats the fade. Now, as a little bonus, as promised, in that A measure, we're going to see if we can add in that that descending kind of horn part, which goes like this. Putting that with the chords. So what is that? These are some triad shapes. Triad? Triad. Triad shapes, three notes. The first one, you're up in the ninth fret, and it's like a D chord. But because the third finger is on the note A, this is actually an A chord. You take that down two frets, you're gonna have a D chord. And then we're gonna drop that down one fret, but we change the grip slightly to make it minor. That's F sharp minor, down two. E minor, these very good shapes, you want to learn these. So it's A, G, F sharp minor, E minor, to the D major seven. And with the strumming, I kind of lift off as I do it to make it nice and short. Keep touching the strings, but lift off the fretboard. One more time with the chords and the backbeat strum. Here we go. So there you are guys, that was the tune. 
absolute classic. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you know what to do. Click on that like button. Subscribe by clicking the button beside my head. Hopefully the song sheet has been released with those 500 likes. You can get it from my website. Here are a couple more videos for you to check out. You take care and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!